solution starting with a solid and for this experiment I'm taking ammonium dichromate as the example, the solid that I'm going to use and after that we will talk about how we can prepare a diluted solution from a solution that we have prepared. Now for this let me first show you how we can find the mass of the solid that we need to weigh in order to prepare 0.01 molar solution of ammonium dichromate. So let's go there. Okay, so to prepare the solution, we will need to find how much mass we need to add to the volumetric flask of ammonium dichromate. And for that, we know that the molarity is equal to 0.01 molar. We know that molarity is equal to number of mole over volume. Now, from here, we can calculate the number of mole, which is equal to molarity multiplied by volume, so 0.01 molar multiplied by 0.1 liter. Now here, for this expression, volume has to be expressed in liters, so this will be equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 3 mole. Once we have the number of mole, we know that the number of mole is equal to the given mass divided by the molar mass. So, the mass that we need to add in the volumetric flask is equal to the number of mole multiplied by the molar mass. So that's equal to the number of mole we found it as 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 3 mole multiplied by the molar mass of ammonium dichromate is 252.07 uh, gram per mole. So now we can cancel mole and mole and we get the mass which is equal to 0 0.2521 if you want to round it, the grams. Now we will leave it like this since our balance allows us to weigh with four decimal places. So now that we have the mass, I will show you now how we can prepare the solution. Great! So now that I have the mass that I need to weigh in order to prepare my solution, we will use a weighing dish And now I will be weighing 0 0.2521 grams of ammonium dichromate. Now of course weighing 0 0.2521 grams it's challenging somehow. So manage that when you weigh your uh, solid to get a mass which is very close to the desired mass. So now that I have the amount of solid needed, I will add it to the volumetric flask using a funnel. Now you will fold the weighing dish this way and add carefully the solid to the flask. Now some of the solid will get stuck to the weighing dish so I will just clean it with, wash it with water to make sure that all the solid that I have weighed it's inside my solution in order to decrease the percentage error of my solution preparation. So now as you can see, I can wash all the solid of the weighing dish. Now I make sure that I wash the final two.
Now, before I continue adding water to the mark, I will be shaking the solution to make sure that the solid, all the solid dissolves. The reason is I shake before uh, I fill it up is that it's easier to shake the solution when it's half full. So now I can see that all the solid that I have added is dissolved. And now I can continue adding water to the mark. When I add some water, I just shake to make sure that um, to homogenize. Okay, when I get close to the mark, I need to adjust the mark with my eyes so I can see the circle as one line and I keep adding water slowly until that the bottom of the meniscus of water touching the mark. And here you go now, I have prepared the solution to make sure that it's homogeneous all across the solution. I can just rotate the flask this way several times until that I make sure that the color of the solution is uniform through all through the entire solution. And this way we prepare a 0.01 molar solution of ammonium dichromate. In the next step I will show you how you can prepare 10 times diluted solution of the ammonium dichromate solution that we have just prepared. For that, since I'm going to dilute it 10 times, I'll be taking 10 milliliter with a volumetric pipette and add it to a 100 milliliter volumetric flask and then add water to the mark which means adding 90 milliliter of water so I'll be using the this pump to fill in the pipette from the solution that I have prepared I'll be measuring 10 milliliter So again, the, the level of water has to be on the mark, the bottom of the meniscus. So now that I have the 10 milliliter, I'll just add it to the empty volumetric flask that I have. So now, using a volumetric pipette allows me to measure 10.0 milliliter of the mother solution, which means it's a very accurate volume. Now to this 10 milliliter, I will be adding water until the mark, which means I'll end up adding 90 milliliter of water. And therefore, this is going to be 10 times diluted solution of the original mother solution or the stock solution that I have prepared earlier in this video. Okay, so now I need to homogenize this solution. And here is a 10 times diluted solution. If we compare the color, you can see that the color, the concentrated solution has a more intense color than the diluted solution. So when we have a colored solution, it's easier for us to tell 
which one is more concentrated or which one is more diluted than which. I hope this video was helpful to you. I'll see you next time.